Troubleshooting telescopic boom lift common faults. Weight sensor repair. First, let us demonstrate how the weight sensor works, the error rate, and the occurrence of faults. 1. Working principles of the weight sensor. A weight sensor is a device that converts weight pressure into current signals which are fed into the controller. The computer calculates the actual platform load based on the current signals. 2. Causes of faults. In the process of use or transport, the platform may be impacted sharply. The weight sensor may experience a pursued impact beyond its limits, and so a permanent deformation could occur in the built-in spring. Consequently, both zero load and full load parameter change result in an error alarm. Of course, a weight alarm caused by a circuit fault is also possible. 3. Generation of errors Due to the automatic leveling of platform, at plus or minus 2 degrees, the pressure transmitted to the pressure sensor will produce errors. Prepare the following tools and accessories for troubleshooting. The tools are as follows. Slender pin, sling, hammer, wrench, multimeter, pallet, overhead crane. The accessories are as follows. New sensor. Today, this GTBZ22J is used as an example to introduce the troubleshooting methods for the weight sensor. Step 1. Check the sensor input signal. First, observe the weight alarm on the screen, and then check the sensor input signal. Case 1. There is signal input. First, judge if there is any single input. If yes, access the scale of the error. When there is a signal input and the error range between input and actual weight is relatively small, follow step 2 and calibrate the weight. Case 2. No signal input. If there is no signal input, follow step 4. Step 2. Weight calibration. After confirming that the sensor input as normal with more errors, you may begin to calibrate the weight. First, carry out empty load calibration. At this time, do not put any items on the work platform. From the main menu, home screen, click the settings button. Click text run info, input password, and enter sensor calibration. Move the cursor to the minimum weight. Click the correct, hold it for 3 seconds. Until it shows a green correct, empty load calibration is completed. Full load calibration is required after the completion of empty load. Carry out full load calibration. At this time, a rated counterweight should be placed. From the main menu, home screen, click the settings button. Click test run info, input password, and enter weight calibration. Move the cursor to AD, the maximum parameter of the weight sensor, click correct and hold it for 3 seconds. Until it shows a green correct, full load calibration is completed. According to the above steps, calibration is completed. In cases where there is a parameter input error that is too large to be calibrated correctly, the weight sensor needs to be replaced. Step 3. Replacing the weight sensor When there is a parameter input and the error is obviously large, it indicates that the sensor has failed. The weight sensor should be replaced. Use a crane to hand the work platform. Caution with a pallet below. Heat the pin shaft with a hammer to remove it. Then slightly pull out the work platform. Replace the old pressure sensor using a wrench. Install a new sensor and resemble the work platform. After replacing the weight sensor, repeat step 2 and recalibrate the sensor. 
Step 4. Weight sensor shows no parameter input. In this case, we need to test the input of the sensor to check whether the connection is normal or if there is any short circuit. Use a multimeter to check if the power supply voltage and ground wear are normal. Case 1. Normal signal line without signal input. If the line is normal but there are no input parameters, take step 3, replace the pressure sensor, then repeat step 2 and recalibrate the sensor. Case 2. Signal lines damaged, no signal input. In the case of a damaged line, it needs to be repaired. Once the cable has been repaired, check whether the controller display screen can detect the input signal value. If sensor signal input is detected after the repair, then you can go to step 2 and calibrate. K3 No signal input after the signal lines is repaired. If there is no input signal after repair, take step 3, replace the pressure sensor, then repeat step 2 and recalibrate the sensor. Step 5. Testing the equipment once input parameters are normal and calibration is completed. Repeat step 2 to test the calibration results of the weight sensor. If the error rate is within 10%, the test is complete and the weight sensor has been repaired. If you have any questions, please call our hotline plus 86 400 service hotline or visit Sinoboom.com for more information. Sinoboom. Always for better access solutions.